My name is Juliette Calmetta from Stalls ID Direct and I'm going to show you how to export a file from cadworkslive.com and import it into Twill Stitch Pro Plus. The first thing I'm going to do is log in to CADWorks Live. CADWorks Live is a design program that has a ton of options for specifically vinyl cutting and print and cut designs, but there is a lot of opportunity to create great designs for applique. The one thing you want to keep an eye out for is the types of templates or fonts that you choose. Um, I'm going to choose a template that will demonstrate what to look out for when you're choosing something. So for example, applique requires a stitch to be about 80% on the twill and 20% on the garment. So when you're choosing a font or a design, you want something a little bit more bold or thick. So you have a chance for that thread to grasp onto that twill, but you also see the twill itself because if it's too thin or too skinny of a stem width, then you're going to cover it up with stitches and it may as well just be direct embroidery. So if you're looking for that look of applique, you want to choose something more bold. So as I had mentioned, I'm going to choose something that kind of does not fit the bill when it comes to applique so I can show you how to modify it in Twill Stitch Pro Plus so you can get a better understanding of how it works. So CADWorks Live is super easy to use. I just double clicked on a template and it came right up onto my design screen. I'm gonna click it again a couple times and I'm able to edit the text. And if I don't have anything specific, uh, I can just simply hit okay and I have my design ready to go. So now I need to get this design out of CADWorks Live so I can bring it into Twill Stitch Pro Plus. And how programs work is some of them can read certain file formats. So CADWorks Live allows you to export in a variety of different file formats and you can see all those underneath the file type. I want to export something vector because embroidery programs, uh, applique programs, they end up just following the path of a vector line. They generate stitches following the, the nodes or the points, point A to point B, with a stitch. So PLT is a format that's compatible in Twill Stitch Pro Plus. So I'm going to choose PLT and I'm not going to choose the separate by color. Uh, there's a couple reasons why, but primarily because I don't need it. Uh, Tw Twill Stitch Pro Plus will actually separate the colors for me and it also will zip the file. So, and I don't want it to be zipped because then I have to bring in each layer individually. So I'm just going to choose PLT with the colors not separated. So there, I just sent my PLT file into my computer system. CADWorks Live will send those to your downloads. So now I have to open up Stalls Twill Stitch Pro Plus, and I want to get a new file on here, or new page, so I can go to File and Import my artwork. I'm working with artwork now. So once I select Import Artwork, I can browse to my computer system, and I can look for all of my downloads. So CADWorks will send it to your downloads. I find that file and I imported it into Twill Stitch Pro Plus. So now I have my design. So back to what I was mentioning before, when you're working with applique, you want stem widths or fonts that are a little bit thicker so when you generate stitches, it doesn't cover up the twill. So this particular template I've chosen because it is very popular with gap outlines. And you can create a gap outline in Twill Stitch Pro Plus. You may need to modify the artwork coming out of CADWorks. Um, and you can do that in Twill Stitch Pro Plus, which I'm going to demonstrate for you. If you were using graphic software program, you probably wouldn't have done this because you'd have just created a single vector line around your design. But in here, I'm going to show you how to modify that. So, Twill Stitch Pro Plus will bring in each layer already colored line items in the sequence view. So in here I can choose each piece of artwork and I can tell Twi Twi Twill Stitch Pro Plus to delete it or not by hitting my delete key on my keyboard. So for example, I don't want this particular part or this particular part and I'm going to show you why. When you're working with Twill Stitch Pro Plus, there's certain parts of for a gap outline that you'd want to get rid of because, for example, the steel stitch is just going to follow a path of a line. But I just need a single vector line so I can convert it to a steel stitch 
and you will see that it creates a steel stitch, which is just a stitch that is consistently the same width throughout the vector line. And then I can go ahead and start modifying other parts of my design by converting it to tackle twill, for example. Thank you for watching.